Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about my top 7 books that I read in 2020 in different languages. I've read 39 books this year, 20 of them in English, 8 books in Spanish, 4 in Polish, also 6 books in Russian and 1 book in Belarusian. Uh, these books were fiction and non-fiction, big and short ones. Some of them I read for pleasure, some for learning. Some of these books I read out loud to practice my pronunciation in different languages. These aren't books that necessarily were published in 2020, just ones that I read this past year. In the description box below the video you'll find a complete list of all 39 books. And now here is my favorite ones, the best 7 books that I read in 2020. The first book that I want to mention is the book that I've read in Polish, Harry Potter i Więzień Azgabanu. It's the Polish version of the third book in the Harry Potter series written by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Phil uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. First of all, it's my favorite book in the series in every language I read. I've also read this book in Russian, English and now in Polish. And secondly, I was quite surprised that I managed to read an entire book in just 40 days, uh, 40 evenings to be exact. Um, it's kind of a new record for me because the previous, the second book in this series took me nearly two and a half months to read in Polish. And the first one, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or in Polish, Harry Potter i Kamień Filosoficzny. It took me more than a year to finish reading that book. Uh, the next book that I want to talk about was written in Spanish. Su Altesa el Interprete, el Fascinante Mundo de la Traducción Simultánea. I got this book as a free Kindle purchase last August and I wasn't expecting it to be that good. I read it aloud to practice my Spanish and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed reading a good book and also learning new words and practicing my Spanish pronunciation at the same time. And I love the title, Your Highness the Interpreter, a very exact and accurate definition. In Russian, I read two great books. The first one is called Diktor Televidenia. It's uh, the very interesting book about television announcing. It was written in, uh, by Bruce Lewis and translated in, from English into Russian nearly 50 years ago. It's quite a short book and an old one, but I found a lot of useful information here. And I hope uh, this will help me to make my videos more interesting, more useful for you guys. Also, the book was beautifully written and equally well translated and I really enjoyed every single page of it. Uh, the next, the second Russian book is Pushkin, Pismo к This book is the collection of letters written by Alexander Pushkin to his wife Natalia Goncharova. Some of the letters were, writ uh, were originally written in French and the book includes the original French texts and also Russian translation of those letters. There are also editors' comments that comprise nearly two-thirds of this book and contain interesting facts and important information about Pushkin's uh, private life and work. And it's just so good, guys. If you haven't read this book and you love uh, Russian literature and history, give it a try. I would definitely recommend this book to any native Russian speaker or an intermediate, uh, upper intermediate or advanced Russian learner. Uh, and finally, three books in English that I liked the most. Uh, the first one is The Rise of Homo Sapiens, The Evolution of Modern Thinking. Uh, this is an interesting book about human evolution and the evolution of human cognition, written by uh, psychologist Frederick College and anthropologist Thomas Wynne. Well written and informative work. 
I thoroughly enjoyed it and I would um, definitely recommend this book to anyone interested in human evolution, ancient history or cognitive science. Uh, the next book is The One Safe Place by Tanya Answorth. I really loved this book, this story. It was well written, fast paced and kept me gripped until the last page. Actually, it's a middle grade dystopia, but I think it's a good book for adult readers as well. I also think that uh, the adults might find the story more terrifying, more intense. How rich people would do anything to get what they want. And it was so believable, so real. I highly recommend this book to anyone who loves a good dystopian novel. And I look forward to reading more from this author. And now my top book of the year, Scorched by Michael Saul, my absolute favorite. I got this book as a free Kindle purchase six years ago in 2014, but I read it, uh, but I read it only this year and I was surprised how good it was. I think it's one of the best dystopian novels that I've read so far. Well written, gripping and thought provoking at the same time. The author has created some completely different societies, different civilizations, I'd say. Uh, and he raised some interesting philosophical questions in this book. I loved the main character, Spack and how he was constantly asking all those inappropriate, uncomfortable questions. He was so real. In fact, all the characters, they were so vivid, so real in my mind. It was just brilliant. I absolutely loved the story from start to finish. And I highly recommend this book if you're interested in good post-apocalyptic and dystopian fiction. Hope the author continues to write more books and maybe continues this story too. I would love to know what happens next. So those were my top seven books that I read in 2020. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you've read any of these books or if you're planning to read them. Do you like reading books in, foreign, uh, in different languages? And what were your favorite and least favorite books of this year? I'd love to hear your book recommendations. I'm always looking for a good book to read, especially in English, Spanish, Polish, Ukrainian, Belarusian. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading. Bye.